All right, let's move to the last one. We have the full join and we have the following task. List customer ID, first name, order ID, quantity, but this time include everything all orders and all customers. Okay, with the full join, I have two things to say. First is that the full join is only supported in some databases like Microsoft SQL. So with MySQL or Oracle, you could not use the full join, but instead of that, I'm gonna show you some workaround how to do full join with MySQL, so don't worry about it, but we need to twist some stuff in order to create the full join. If you are using Microsoft SQL, you can just go and say full join. The second thing is that full join has sometimes bad performance if you have big tables. So try really to avoid using the full join. In my projects, I always tend to use like inner join, left join, right join, or full outer joins. I really try to avoid using that. Full join has really bad performance. So if you have small tables, it should not be a problem. But once the table gets like big, the full join is going to be really slow because you are saying, OK, give me everything from left, give everything from right. And that has sometimes bad performance. So try to avoid that. So now the question, how are we going to do full join if we don't have in my SQL a full keyword? In order to do that, we, as I said, we're going to use some workaround. So follow me on this. So a full join is actually is a combination between a left and right. So left join plus right join. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go and duplicate this script. So we have twice the same query, but one we say left join and in the other we say right join. As the next tutorial, we're going to talk about how to combine two statements in one. So in order to do that, we will use the keyword union. So once I put union, I'm just like adding two statements in one. So here I'm saying, okay, give me all the results from the left and combine it with the result from right. And if you execute it, you will get exactly the same result as the full join. So with that, you could see, okay, here I have all the customers and here as well, I have all the orders. So we have here a full join. All right, guys, so now let's see what the data is done once we executed the full join or the scripts that I showed you with left, union, right. So we have the same setup, customers, orders, and we have those four columns. So since it's full join, that means all the records from left and all the records from right. So it's going to start from the left. We will have all the customers and all the first names. And then it's going to start matching on the right side. So Maria, it has this order and this quantity. Customer ID has this order and this quantity. The three, we have this ID and this quantity. But for Martin and Peter, we don't have any orders from them. So we're going to see nulls over here and null over here. But there is still something missing is that we don't have all the orders over here. That's why the database is going to go and present this order ID and this quantity. And with that, it's going to match on the left side. It says, OK, there is no customers on the left side. And it's going to put over here some nulls. So with that, you got all the customers and you have all the orders that is matching for them and the way around. With that, you have all orders and all customers using the full join. All right, guys. So with that, we have learned all different types of joins. Next, we're going to talk about a similar concept. It is the union and union all. And in the video description, you will find a link to free SQL materials like the database and the data of this tutorial, the SQL sheet sheet, and as well, all the presentations. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye. Bye.